Hi everybody, Scrap Chicky here. I'm going to share with you um, my final entries for um, the Christmas All Year Round uh, challenge on Your Paper Pantry. And this month, uh, November, was to create um, the option of creating gift card holders. And um, I looked up online because I um, was looking for a different way to make them. And I found a, a lady that... Um, created some really cute ones and I'll put a link down below to her video but her YouTube channel is Stamper Dog I think is what it's called and um, anyway she has a really cute video on how to create this but I thought um, I would share with you what I did and it's basically just looks like this and it is made out of a top note die the die that she uses in her video is a Stampin' Up! Um, Sizzix die and it's a bit bigger than than the one that I have so this is really small um, I believe it ends up being four yeah it's four inches wide um, and it just opens up like that and in the middle there goes the where you put the um, the gift card and I just added uh, a little uh, top note die to or punch that I added, deck the halls, and some, oh, <laughs> a piece of doily, and then I did like a 3D um, Christmas tree, and that's really easy, and then I just added a little bit of ribbon, and and it's done, and I did another one, um, same type of design, with uh, just a different colored paper, and some another top note die there, and a close to my heart um, stamp, so really simple. And I wanted to show you guys how to make that today. So she does a, a little tutorial on there as well, but I'm going to do one just because the die that I have isn't the Sizzix die, and it isn't as big as the one that she did. So I created mine at four inch, cut a piece of cardstock at four by 11. And what I'm going to do is you'll take your, your scoreboard, and you're going to score it at five and a half. That gives you right at the center, and then you're going to score it at three and a quarter. Excuse me, three and a half, I'm sorry. Three and a half. And then I'm just going to turn it and score it at three and a half again. So that you have three score lines right in the, basically in the center. And what I do is fold it on the hill, and then do the valley folds on the others. So it ends up looking like that. Okay, and um, I've already taken the next step, so I'll do it a different color um, cardstock. But it's so far, all I did was add glue, or excuse me, sticky strip to this very bottom part, to this part here. And I used. Um, this kind of tape, the um, score tape, the really super thin, eighth of an inch I think it is, to uh, close off the the bottom here. Then we'll date. What we'll do is we'll take uh, and you peel it off, and it ends up like that. So it's closed together there. Then you pick up, um, I'm using the uh, Spellbinders dies, and I'm not sure what label number this is, but they're the top note ones, and they look like this. And I'm taking the largest one, which is only about four inches wide, which is why my card is only four inches wide. But I put it as close to, I can, just below, the little hills on that, just below the um, bottom of the cardstock. And I'm, I should mention this. So this is the end that's already glued shut, this end here. I'm putting the die closest to the top edge so that this edge doesn't get cut. Does that make sense? So it'll look like that when it goes into your machine. Okay. Then I kind of have to adjust because it keeps moving on me. Because it's already folded like that, it wants to. It wants to move a little bit there. Okay. Then we run it through. 
I have to run it through a couple of times because because that paper's already folded and it's so thick. My little cuddle bug has a bit of a problem, so I'll cut it through that. So. But once you get it done, it goes through pretty much all the way through. Um, depending on the cardstock, this is close to my hard cardstock and it's kind of thick. So um, it doesn't go all the way, all the way through. It perforates it enough so that you can just go around with the scissors and totally pop it off. So I'm not too worried about that. Thinner card stocks, um, I used an American Crafts with before. These uh, gray ones are with American Craft cardstock and they went through pretty easily. So it just depends on your cardstock. You might have to run it through a couple times. Oh, that's stuck to me now. Okay, so we have that there. Okay, so she took a top note. Um, punch to to make the holes in it. I'm just going to use this other one, the one that's like the little slot one, and it just seems easier to me. And you get as close to the edge without without going over. And you try to just get a little bit of a window so that you can fit the um, the gift card through. So there's that. And here I'll just put in a, a credit card so that you can see how it fits together. And so that's how it, that's what it looks like. That's where the card goes. You can use any decorative punch if you wanted to to, to give you this um, edge here. It really just is just enough to get the um, the card the card through, and then you can decorate the outside. Okay, so there it is. Really quick, really simple um, little card holder, and you could totally do it with any um, top note die that you might have. Uh, you could decorate more inside if you wanted to, whatever. I just think um, it was a super cute little idea, and again, the ladies' channel, I'll put it down below and give credit where credit is due. She was Her uh, tutorial is perfect. <laughs> it's really good. I just thought I would share it um, the way I did it with a different... Um, the Spellbinders die as opposed to the Sizzix uh, top note die. So thanks guys for watching. Bye. Oh, forgot to mention this is my last um, last challenge for the uh, this year's uh, Christmas all year round. And I had so much fun. Linda, thank you so much. You are totally awesome for hosting this. It was 
a great experience for me and I loved it um, and I hope you do it again next year. I know it's a lot of work but um, I would love to do it again uh, next year. So thanks for watching. Bye guys!